Hey guys, so I am going to show you how I'm going to make our water obstacles for the clinic. Um, I know a lot of people send us messages trying to figure out, how did you do that? Can I do that at home? Yes, you can do it at home. It is so easy. Um, so first of all, we went and measured our pipe yesterday at the barn with one of the horses. Colleen had Chief out, so um, Chief is a pretty good boy. We just put this up to him, kind of decided how high it should go. Um, that's really important if you have smaller, you know, Pasifino type horses versus big draft size horses. You wanna make sure that this kind of is chest height for them. You don't want it whacking them in the face or, you know, being too low. So anyway, this, this is a pretty good standard level for us, but just make sure if you're making this at home for yourself and for your horses that it's, it's the right height for you. Um, so this is, Chief is, I think, 15, one, two. I feel like a mom not knowing my kid's birthday, but around there, 15-ish hands, 15-1, um, I don't know. Um, so this is where we marked it for him. So we're gonna cut off our pipe, but actually I'm not using this pipe. I just was playing around with this size. So this is my um, measuring stick, but what we're actually gonna use is the one inch PVC. So this is three quarter inch. We have some half inch, but what we're going with for this obstacle is one inch. And I hit the one inch because a garden hose will fit into it. So we're gonna use this garden hose when we get done and be able to stick it straight through the pipe without having to worry about connecting. If you were to connect your hose to this pipe, it, it wouldn't be able to flow freely, to, to rotate freely. And we want that for this particular obstacle that we are making. So, um, bigger pipe, and what we will actually need, which I'm sure some of you are going, no, nah, it doesn't make sense. It will, once you see my crazy and kind of um, what I came up with. So, need to cut our pipe. And thankfully, I am married to a carpenter who has every tool imaginable. You can do this with a hacksaw. You can do this with a pipe cutter. Um, I happen to have a fine saw because I have an awesome husband. So I'm gonna mark this just so I know where I'm cutting and then find my mark there it is and get rid of all the other junk in my way we need a shop um, but then I'm gonna take my fine saw and just cut this off at the height that I need it to be So we have a one inch to half inch. So what this actually is, is, it's my neighbor. Um, oh God, I can't even get that off. Oh, this one came off. Okay, so it's a one inch to half inch, and this is threaded, this is not. So this is a half inch that I'm just gonna thread in tightly. Obviously I did this one tight enough. And then I've got some cardboard down on um, the truck, just because I don't want my truck to be purple. Um, and I'm going to glue it on. So, we are going to, in case you haven't ever used plumbing stuff before, it's messy, but it's, it's super easy. So I've got some purple PVC primer, and then the all-purpose cement. So primer first, then cement. So we are going to take our one inch and primer the inside, I'm trying really hard not to make an enormous mess. It's going to be a mess. There's nothing you can do about that. So just protect yourself, your clothes, your nails, uh, and your truck or wherever you're working. If you have a shop or somewhere great to work, which we will eventually, then protect that. Um, okay, so primered, it's all purple and primered, then we're going to glue. So I'm running my glue in here. It smells lovely. And then I'm gonna take and clamp it where I need it to go. So again, we've got the primer. very goopy 
blue. And then you're gonna take that. And lock it in. And so the way that's gonna go on is one right above the other so that you can have one going off this way and one going off that way. Trash day. Okay, so make sure those are on nice and tight. Let that set up. You can actually glue and lock these on. These are so hard to even twist on. I'm not gonna bother, but you absolutely can. Mark can probably get these on even more. Not as strong as I used to be. But, so these are on. So, next. Okay, so we have our pipe cut. We have our connectors on. Now we need to put our arms on. So we're going to take these pool noodles that we got at the dollar store. You do not need super expensive pool noodles. Remember, horses are just gonna destroy anything you make, make it the best you can, but these are interchangeable. They are replaceable. Um, you do not need to spend a lot of money on the noodles. Um, there's actually not a lot of money in this stuff either, which is great. So we are gonna take now our half inch, right? Because that's where our connectors are. Right here, that's half inch. So we've got our half inch PVC, and we wanna cut that to the length of the pool noodle. So I am going to just thread my pool noodle onto the pipe. I'm going to make sure it's at the end here, maybe even a little further back, but not too far back. And then we are gonna take our handy dandy little saw. Mark it. And cut it. this is going to work is this pole is going to fit right into here and then this noodle will slide right on so what I want to do is take the noodle off first we're going back to our messy primer and glue so first we start with the primer and I like to do the hole that it's going in and then the outside of the pipe and then so messy okay. we're gonna take this one this one and this twist and shove. When it won't twist anymore, you're done. And I like to twist the same way that I threaded this in. So if I'm gonna get any more out of that, it's done. Okay, then you're gonna switch sides and repeat the process. If I can get this thing to balance without falling over. Honestly, let me backtrack for a second. So when I measured that pipe out, Really, I should have just cut both of these at the same side, time. Because I didn't, I have to do that again. So. There we go. So. Am I even using the right one? Did I not cut that right? Hold on. I did not cut that right. Maybe I didn't. No, I don't think I did. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit more off. I don't like where I cut that. And this is why you cut them both at the same time. If you're crazy like me and need everything to be uniform and matchy match, which I do. So, let's cut the end off of this one. So, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Primer. Then glue.
good solid seal. We are good to go and it's dripping everywhere. Okay, so now we have our T. We have our half inch pipe connected to our little connectors here on both sides. And so what we need to do is add our noodles. So we're gonna take our dollar store noodles. Put them over the pipe. And then what I want to show you is this thicker part here, we're just gonna twist and shove and make sure it gets on there nice and tight. That way it's secure. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. That goes on. Twist and shove. And those are on there nice and tight. Now, because I'm ridiculous, if you're done, you're so very done, I need to cover this middle part. So I'm gonna do that with another noodle. So, see if I can do this with my one hand. I guess what I'm gonna do is go about the length of my two connectors, take my scissors, also bought at the dollar store, and see if I can cut this. I'm taking my full noodle, I'm cutting off a chunk, like that, and cutting a slit in the side so essentially it opens. Then I'm going to take my T and just lock that around. So it's not super fancy, but I like to finish stuff off because I'm kind of a weirdo like that. So now I'm all finished. I've got my tea. I call this a merry-go-round. I understand that it's not. That is what I call it. So here at Leatherman Lane, this is a merry-go-round. Then to make it extra fun, we add water. Okay, so we have our hose. We have our one-inch pipe. This just goes right in the bottom and you push it all the way up to the top. So when that comes out, we are just taking a typical nozzle, right? These are not my favorite for washing just because if you get them twisted too much, you get this shh, big fan spray. Well, it's actually perfect for what I wanna do with these horses. So I'm gonna take this, attach it to the hose, So that is on there and it just sits right there on top. Now, when the horses come and move this, it's free. The hose is not gonna twist up in there like it would if I locked in the nozzle. So I'm not locking in the nozzle, this is free. The one inch pipe just rotates around it freely. No tangling, no untangling, and we're good to go. Um, so now the only thing left to do is figure out how to mount this sucker so that the horses can push it around without it falling over. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so we are gonna do a trial run and see how this goes. I can't set this up in the arena yet because we have boarders that like to ride and it is not time for the water obstacle clinic yet. So I have a one and a half inch PVC pipe um, that our one inch will fit into. This is what I'm gonna to secure to the ground to stabilize it from moving. Um, that way the one inch can freely rotate around. So we have our one and a half inch PVC pipe I have some zip ties. That's what we're gonna secure the PVC pipe to the rebar stake. And hopefully I can get this back out. Mark assures me that we can, but I'm hesitant. I'm sure he'll prove me wrong. He usually does. So we're gonna pound this into the ground. Even though I don't have my mallet, I'm using Mark's hammer. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. He's not here. We're gonna secure the pipe to the rebar. Um, we'll probably do this a little bit different on the actual clinic day, but for now this is what we got and I really want to test drive it, so we're going for it. Kind of don't feel like this is going to work. Yeah, it's just crappy. I might have to go get my mask. Stupid. Okay, let's try this again. So our ground is super hard. I don't know where my mallet is. 
Mark's not helping me, so I'm going to borrow his drill. So I'm thinking we'll just pick a spot in the ground, pre-drill. Bad. Do not do this. I mean, that's like bad tool etiquette. Bad wife. Don't do what I did. However, hopefully it helped to get this in. This is like the worst mallet ever. I mean like ever. Also do not use your husband's good hammer. More solid. I think I did good. Okay, so I probably should drive it in more but I'm honestly afraid I'm never gonna get it out. So, we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna secure the pipe to the rebar using zip ties. This is completely rigged, but I cannot set this up in my arena right now because I still have boarders that are gonna to wanna to ride for the next few days and I'm not willing to take that away from them right now. So, we're just gonna play around with this at the house and see how it goes. And there's definitely an easier way to do this. I'm tired, it's hot, and I'm at the end of my day. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna hook it up to the hose and hope it doesn't tip over. Horsemanship Clinic, maybe a lesson, maybe taking a shower in the front yard. Have a good one.